Well, Fox 2 is your local election headquarters. A Senate candidate in Missouri has started what he calls the United Seats of America. Fox 2's Andy Banker shows us it's part of an effort to launch a new independent political party simply named the Better Party. So when you hear about the campaign for the U.S. Senate from Missouri, you hear about a two-way race. Incumbent Republican Josh Hawley, Democrat challenger Lucas Kuntz. Well, there's a businessman from Joplin who's also an attorney and says, no, 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 this is a three-way race now. And he's starting to raise some eyebrows. We call it the United Seats of America. Independent candidate Jared Young is doing things like sending Democrats and Republicans to sit side by side behind home plate at Cardinals and Royals games to prove a point. They walked away knowing, hey, this person thinks about politics completely differently from me, but we can still be friends. And that's exactly what we're out to prove. It's we the people, not we the parties. He does not attack his opponents in campaign videos or interviews. When Kuntz and Hawley accused each other of dodging debates at the state fair last week, Young was there but avoided the fracas. You know, we're all so exhausted by the state of our politics. And I think people are longing for someone who can actually sit down and not just hurl mud, but instead actually talk productively about issues and work to solve those issues. Huge example of that is immigration. Most people agree on two things. We need a secure border and we need legal immigrants. They're an incredibly important part of our economy and an incredibly important part of our culture. Young is certainly not in the same fundraising ballpark as the others with about $930,000 total. As of July's FEC report, more than half of it is own money and about $465,000 cash on hand. Compare that to about $22.5 million raised for Hawley with about $5.8 million on hand and nearly $11.2 million for Coons with $4.2 million on hand. But Young says his polling shows 70% of voters are open to supporting an independent candidate. The more people see that, the more people are getting excited about it and we're picking up traction. We hope you'll join us. His mini documentary on the United Seats of America is due out by the end of the month. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.